Alright guys, uh, I'll try to do a quick review here of my new Honda push mower. Um, got it at Home Depot, they're on sale according to Home Depot for $399, normally $450. So uh, this thing is usually the push mower I've been using. It's pretty crappy just because uh, I don't really push mow that much. I have about two to three yards that I do. I don't try to usually take many yards where I have to use a push mower, but um, I thought about getting the 30 inch Toro X Mark. I looked at both of them. I've been thinking about getting those for a while. Um, the only reason I didn't is because I just the stuff that I've read over the years uh, it's like they've always had problems, they've transmission problems and all kinds of other crazy stuff, blades flying off into people's houses and stuff, which is like so crazy. I, that's un, I would never, I couldn't imagine that happening, but uh, yeah, just tons of stuff like that that should never happen with something that costs eighteen, sixteen hundred dollars $1,600, uh, so and it doesn't seem like they've figured it out because they just keep having problems year over year so uh, I've always heard that these Hondas are awesome they're a little pricey for a, just a typical like residential style 21 inch push mower but it's because they're the best so I decided I'll just get two of these and save some money since I don't use a push mower that much and uh, this one's brand new it's just um, got a bunch of pollen and stuff on it I've only used it like a week um, it's got these little things to adjust the wheels it's real easy I'm not gonna do it but it's super simple you can just like do that and adjust it um, this little deal is pretty cool to me you got the bag or mulch you just click it in there's like a little like plate in there and it opens up when you got it on a bag and it you close it on mulch um, it's got a pretty large gas cap for a push mower which I like I think it's pretty good it's like a real an actual real gas cap too instead of just like a piece of junk little turny thing it's got this little thing in there you can flip up and uh, like your nozzle can go against that so you won't like be sliding everywhere and spill gas that probably can get lost pretty easily but you yeah, see like it's actual like a real like clicking turn gas cap you already put the oil in muffler um, you know standard uh, cast deck it's not like a welded deck um, this actually has an air, air filter though which you don't see on most push mowers so that's a plus for sure having a real air filter that you can clean and change out that'll definitely extend the years um, it's got this twin blade system, if I could, if you can see it, it's kind of dark under there, I don't know if the GoPro doesn't like the dark that much, but it's got this twin blade system under there, uh, what it does, like, it's just, it's one big, one actual thing, but you got these, um, it's like a thick big blade on the bottom and a thin small blade on the top and I guess it just gives it a little better cut uh, it does do a real good cut on the yards I've done so far it does a pretty awesome cut for a little push mower all push mowers usually get a pretty good cut but this one really does nicely um, you got the smart drive little deal it's, it, it'll uh get moving pretty good you know just like any 
um, self-propelled lawnmower. It does. You got to get behind it a little going up hills and stuff, but for the most part, it's pretty powerful for just being a little, you know, residential style push mower. Um, it really, if you're on flat ground, I don't even do it all the way unless I'm like in a super big hurry because this thing will go on flat ground. You can't keep up with it. Um, what else? Uh, starting it's super easy. You just like pull this back, which is like real easy to pull back, not like a typical one. And then you just pull this like one pull every time. It's got the little easy start uh, automatic choking system. This model here is a GCV 160. If anybody's interested, like I said, $400 at Home Depot. Um, probably the most expensive little residential push mower you can buy, but definitely worth the money compared to spending a thousand dollars on the residential version of the Toro, which uh, you don't know if you're going to have to be putting it in the shop in the next couple months. And um, if any of you guys, if any of y'all's shops are like the ones here, uh, lawnmower repair places and dealerships and all that, uh, I'm sorry, but they suck. They have horrible service. I don't, every time I go there to try to do something, I just usually go home and end up doing it myself because I, even in the winter time, I'll try to ask them how long for hydraulic oil change or something. Oh, two weeks. Two. I can't go two weeks without a lawnmower. I don't see how they run a business. But anyway. Um, yeah, that's the old one there. It's a piece of junk. But um, this is the box for the other one. I'll show you all of that. Um, it's still in there brand new. I bought two. I guess my idea behind that is I'll probably, if I ever need to, uh, I'll have two. For, if I got a guy helping me or something and we're both getting one. But most likely the reason I'll use it is... Um, like maybe you just rotate them in and out like use this one for like two weeks or a month then rotate to that one for the next two weeks or a month and ro keep rotating them that way i um can extend the life on them it's got the bag here it's made out of like actual like good bag thick material too good quality um it is like a pretty small bag so if any b normal sized yard you're probably gonna have to undo the bag like at least five times but it's pretty easy to take off you just pull that up and pull the bag but uh, I try to do all of mine on mulch because I don't like having to keep pulling that bag off and stuff it's a hassle the only time I really bag is um in the winter time when people want their leaves and stuff bagged up and uh, there was something else I was going to say about it forgot about it now uh, yeah that's pretty much it for the most part it's good little residential type mower not too expensive and uh, you can't beat the quality on these things um, I wouldn't recommend it if you're gonna be doing you know 10 yards a week with the thing or 20 yards a week with the thing but you know something like me i don't have that many push mowing yards i might have like two a week that i do so it's no big deal to have to push mow them you know it's, it's not going to hurt this thing so it's perfect for me um yeah let me uh, let me know if you guys got any questions Thanks.